Kung Fu. Well, the real pronunciation is actually Gung Fu, but that's a story for another time. Also known as Spartan X in Japan, now this classic was released October 1985 on the NES. I think it was also in the arcades, but I'm not certain, so don't quote me on that. This was back in the days where reflexes were what made up maybe 8 to 90% of your skill level in an action video game. There was no long list of strategies to choose from like today, like say ducking behind cover and taking a few deep breaths till your health regenerated. No, even when you had a life bar in these days, you'd have to protect it even more than you need to in today's games. You're Thomas who's trying to rescue his girlfriend who has to trek through five stories of this temple, riddled with enemies coming from both sides. Now the thing is, today we refer to a particular genre as rhythm based games. But if you think about it, back in the 80s and even 90s, most of these action games were rhythm driven. At first when you pick it up it might seem tough as nails, but once you get into it, after failing a couple dozen times, you'll realize these types of games are very predictable and follow specific patterns, rhythms. And once you get into the groove of these rhythms, you can really breeze through them. I haven't sat down to play this game seriously in a long time, so for the first couple of minutes it seemed almost unplayable. But once muscle memory kicked in, I think I breezed through the entire game in what felt like under 10 minutes. Anyway, Kung Fu was and still is one of my top games from the 8-bit era. And it was a pleasure revisiting it and sharing it with all the younger gamers out there, who are probably scratching their heads and asking what is this? What you're watching isn't from an emulator by the way. This footage was captured from the original NES cartridge straight from my collection and played on the handy Retro Duo console which by the way is available right now at Straight Games in the Sovereign Center. Let me know what your favorite 8-bit game was or is in the comments section below and don't forget to like, favorite and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for the support and thanks for playing.